automatically uh, create this stack bar chart so I will just click on this stack bar chart and the blank visual will be available on my canvas and let me just drag it to resize it alright so now let us understand that whenever you uh, add a visual to your canvas either it's a stack bar chart or a column chart pie chart donut chart or any other kind of visual from the app store uh, there you you want to have that uh, so you want to have a clear concept that in which kind of data set or the fields which you are choosing for that uh, visual should be appropriate because if you choose an appropriate visual with uh, a difference in in the fields which you drag and drop in that uh, visual will not give you a right meaning or a data story right so every uh, different kind of visual has some different uh, usage according to the data set which you have uh, not all the charts can be created on one kind of data or uh, on every kind of field you can say so let's get start uh, what we are required to uh, have on this visual is so whenever you create a visual a blank visual uh, if you see on the visualization pane you will find three small icons here let me just zoom this so the first here uh, you have the fields view uh, where you can just drag and drop the relevant field uh, in, in this stack bar chart you have the access legend values and tool tips fields available in when you click on this format icon small format icon just like a paintbrush so you will find all the formatting options available specific for this visual so every kind of visual has different kind of formatting options available and I'm using a power bi desktop version for the month of July 2020 uh, and I hope that you are also using the latest version uh, the next small icon is for the analytics so it's also depend that which kind of visual you are uh, creating on your canvas and uh, what are the possible analytics options available in that particular visual so let's start with with this uh, fields pane here and uh, we will drag and drop relevant fields into the access legend and values and you will find how easy is to create the stack bar chart in Microsoft Power BI so I will drag and drop the city field into the access and uh, then I would like to have revenue in the value so I'm just dragging and dropping here so you can see that now your stack bar chart is being created but uh, we are more uh, interested to look uh, okay so it's a sales data and we, we would like to see each of the city that how the customer is paying either they are, how much is volume has been paid through the credit card or a cash or any other kind of payment mode so we what we will do is we have a field of payment type here available in the database so we will drag and drop this field into the legend and now you can see that uh, the purple color is indicating the credit card payment in the New York City by different uh, customers through checks through cash so you can see that in the Los Angeles uh, the users are more willing to pay cash rather than the credit card but in the New York uh, the users are more willing to pay through the credit card so this is the data storytelling through this appropriate visual you can analyze and you can take the decisions and or the strategies uh, the availability of different payment modes in each of the city right now let's come to the formatting part so in the journal category you can just click on that category it will expand and you can change the position of X and Y height and width available here if you want to uh, change the legend position you can change the legend position from this drop down menu so here you have a different options available just like you use in Microsoft Excel so you have top bottom left right bottom center so wherever you want to have this appropriate legend you can just click on that if you don't want title for the legend you can just click on to turn off or turn, make it turn on uh, you can also change the name of the legend as well now you have this field available and also the color as well so after doing all this formatting uh, let's explore what else we have in this we have x-axis and y-axis formatting available as well the font size we can increase the color we can change here uh, the position also we can change as well maximum size minimum size 
inner padding, titles. See, so there are a lot of features now available in the latest version of Microsoft Power BI. Uh, for the data colors, so we have uh, three different kind of payment modes, cash, check and credit card. And if you want to make it a theme based, so what you can do is either you will go to the custom color and define the hex code or you can just have uh, a standard theme color from here. So let's uh, use this golden or yellow type colors for the cash, for the checks and for the credit cards. Use one light color as well here. Right. So you can apply these colors as appropriate as as you like and then uh, let's explore more formatting options so you have the data labels available here as well so when you turn on you can uh, show the display units as a full numbers or in thousands or in millions or billions so this is one of the awesome uh, formatting option available if you don't want to have the decimal places just write zero and press enter key right you can increase the text size you can change the font as well uh, custom if you want to have the custom series you can also make it so more moreover uh, you have you can also add the background you can add the border to the this visual you can add a shadow right so there are a lot of features formatting features available here so i hope this visual is now clear to you uh, as you can see on top the title is on left side you can make it center or the right side as well so there are a lot of formatting options available now let's see this uh, visual in in a dark mode so I will just select this visual and I will press Control C and Control V to copy and paste and I will just drag and drop this visual into the dark mode now for the dark mode it is recommended that whenever your backgrounds are dark uh, you your visual should, should have in light color so that it looks more appealing and uh, attractive uh, with respect to the color contrast so what we will do is we will first uh, turn off the background so now it's invisible and now we are required to make the x-axis and y-axis white color so that it, it would visible in the dark mode or a dark background colors just like dark blue dark brown you can use or dark red you use okay so we will expand the y-axis category and here we will select the white color so as you can see now the color has been changed Similarly, you can go to the x-axis and uh, change the color. You can increase the font size as well. You can change the font style as well, right? And one more thing is that uh, because we have used credit card as black color here in the in the light mode, so now credit card is not being seen in the dark mode. So that was the purpose to make it black so that you can understand it more easily. So we will we have to change the data colors here as well. So I will expand this data color category and uh, now here I would like to choose the light color right or even this color as well right so as well as well so what we can do is we will expand the legend and here we will select instead of black we will select white color so now you get an idea that how to uh, create the stack bar chart from the visualization screen in Microsoft Power BI a different in a light light mode and a dark mode and I hope you will explore uh, this formatting option as well and you have in the analytics you have the constant line you can add a constant line as well so let's add a constant line and here you can add a value which is for example 35,000 so at 35,000 I would like to add a line which will be in white color and transparency will be zero or I can choose the red color as well here custom color and this is specific red color so we have added a constant line in, in the stack bar chart right and the data labels that's 35,000 okay. so I hope you like this video thank you so much